Hello, everyone. This is Charlie Brown, the webmaster of MichaelIcebergMusic.com. It is Friday afternoon, the 8th of March, and we're talking to Michael Iceberg. Hello, sir. How are you? Hey, Charlie. We've overcome some giant catastrophe of yes. technical difficulties. It reminds me of doing an Iceberg Machine show. For about 20 but minutes, look, we were trying to get this thing to work. <laughs> so far, it's working. Well, sir, I'm going to fire a question off at you. You have mentioned in previous conversations about how important turkey legs were in the iceberg machine. They are somehow connected, and I have no idea what that means, so I'm going to ask you, sir, please tell us, what do turkey legs have to do with Michael Iceberg and the iceberg machine? Well, first of all, you have to understand that I've, I've eaten a lot of turkey legs. In fact, I, I would be embarrassed if anybody ever found out how many turkey legs I've eaten. Um, many years ago, a gentleman explained how to make turkey legs, which I will do sometime if you'd like. But in the fact that the Iceberg Machine incorporated all these different companies' instruments, Oberheim, Moog, Sequential, um, um, Korg, and... Yamaha, I sort of found that at every NAM show, I felt it was sort of my job to get all the people together, the, the boss from each of those companies, and go out to dinner one night. And sure enough, we would get this group of people together once every year at the music convention and all go out and eat together. And when I was living in uh, Santa Monica with my a uh, music writing friend, Rob Royer from Britain and myself. I was living in Westwood. We would, that would be right in the area where Oberheim lived, uh -huh. Tom Oberheim and various other friends from the music industry that mm -hmm. were based in Los Angeles. Moog, of course, was not. Um, but I would talk about this turkey leg diet. I, I had this diet where I ate only turkey legs. <laughs> and you'd lose a lot of weight if you only ate turkey legs because <laughs> pretty soon you couldn't eat another turkey leg. You <laughs> ate it so much. But a turkey leg, you know, just by its very nature is big. Yep. And I like big food, you know. I, and by the way, the way I cook turkey legs is with celery salt and a little water, and I bake them in a roasting pan with a little tent over it for about three and a half hours, three hours, till the skin starts to pull off the bone, and then I uncover, that's at 325, and then I uncover it for another half hour at about 350. They got to be soft. And I make turkey whenever Hedda will let me. She doesn't like me to make it all the time. I, I have to be, I, I sort of only have turkey now when it's all right with Hedda. Uh, we're which... we're going to add this to a new section of the website called Cooking with Michael. <laughs> well, then I will have to tell you about my Friday night chicken, too. But anyway, <laughs> I used to use Rob's house to make these turkey legs in. Mm -hmm. And somehow it got to him. He didn't like the fact that all these guys were always coming over to eat turkey legs. It turned out that Jim Cooper and Tom Oberheim and uh, various other good, wonderful people who helped me in putting the iceberg machine together. You see... Because I used everybody's stuff, I didn't. I really wanted everybody to kind of get along. And yeah. by nature, it's hard if you're the head of one company that's fighting the other company. I, I, I would have to tell you that I never did get to know any um, executives of Yamaha, I, I, huh? even though I really like their products very much too. But the people at Sequential... <laughs> unbelievably fine and Tom Oberheim and, mm -hmm. and man who designed the Oberheim is expander module and the Oberheim synthesizer Jim Cooper. Well the um, ice machine was kind of like a big United just, Nations of keyboards. JLC James, James L. Cooper. Yeah. Uh, all these people would come over and eat turkey legs <laughs> and that's how the that's what the turkey leg episode is and it's not over yet I still love them <laughs> and that's that's it. Turkey legs are really big to me. That's been a you, big uh, 
You 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 better you better watch out, Michael, because the next time you go into town and check your post office box, somebody might mail you a turkey leg. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it would have to be a kosher turkey leg now. You know, those are instead of being uh, thirty five cents a pound, they're about three dollars. Um, <laughs> okay, but, folks, remember that now. Only kosher turkey legs. All right. All right. <laughs> The, ad the address so, is on the website. That is you know, satisfactory answer, Charlie Brown. <laughs> yes, it is, sir. Thank you so much. This is another Ask Michael segment. Folks, everybody, wave goodbye to Michael Iceberg. Thank you, sir, and we'll see you later. They're certainly whimsy. Bye-bye. <laughs>